Hello everyone, my name is Mariah. Welcome back to the Little Earth Studying Channel. And today I'm going to show you around my greenhouse and what, I'm, what I've currently got going on in here. And also there's some chores that I have to get done in here like pot up some anise hits up. Um, and I started them, started them in some plug trays and there's also peppers that are way too big that I started way too early that I need to up pot and cucumbers as well. So welcome to my greenhouse and um, let's get this started. Okay, so I took you guys down off of the um, support that I had you on just to kind of give you an overview of the greenhouse as of right now Now we have some benches in there So it's holding all my plants and I've got storage underneath and also more plants down there and then also um, Since it again, it's a Harbor Freight greenhouse I just have this stump that holds the door because it, it's on railings, but it doesn't really fit in the bottom rail that you see there so i just put this up against the door so that it can stay shut i've also got a extension cord running out here for um, um a surge protector um, that has plugs in it for a heater and i found this at bymart it's a really cool heater um it's got two different heat settings and then also a fan setting so that'll be really helpful when it starts to get really hot in here during the summertime so i'll just start from uh left to right i guess um it'll probably it won't it shouldn't take too long for this side um because um for one most of these over here are cucumbers. You can see there's this big cucumber happening that I is gonna make it difficult for these to transplant out. Um, so I'm gonna have to go, when I do end up planting them outside, I am gonna have to go and pull all these cucumbers that are happening, all the squash that's happening. I don't know if you can see on here. There's squash too squash that's happening um and just pull all the flowers and fruits off and then um, plant them outside but today i think i'm going to pot these ones that are in, not in solo container look at this solar cup containers um, i'm gonna put them in solo cup con containers so then they just have a little bit more room until i'm about to plant them I also have some eggplant in here. They are okay. They've got some curling going on. It's probably because they need to get watered. Um, there's no more water in here, as you can see. So I need to add some water in there. It's been pretty warm. Um, these are doing, look, look, cucumbers. And then the two varieties of cucumbers I have are Boston pickling, which is this one here, and this big cucumber here and dark cucumber which is half slicing like you can use it for slicing and you can use it for pickling and i find that the dark cucumber is just ready to produce and um, excited <laughs> about life um I, you can see i've i pulled some of the cucumbers off in there and and flowers so those are the two uh, varieties i've got I've also got Antigua um, eggplant and um, Little Flingers eggplant. They're doing pretty well. They're, they're a decent size, so they shouldn't be too hard to transplant out. Um, I, I know eggplant doesn't get too big, but um, it, it's a decent size. It's a, it's a small enough size that it and there's no fruit or flowers on it that'll still be okay to transplant outside on like a cooler day when it's um, shaded. See this one? Like you can tell, you, like what is this? What is happening here? It truly is a little earth greenhouse. And then yeah, go off and pick off of the these old leaves. They just need some um, loving care. <laughs> 
and so all of my peppers that are in here they are absolutely huge i'm gonna i think i'm gonna go in go ahead and prune them back just like just take off about that much probably or maybe to here just so that um i i feel like it'll help and just make them bushier so i've got a bunch of different varieties in here that i probably won't name like you can see there's pumpkin spice or tom jalapenos the pumpkin spice is orange and the tom is just your regular green jalapeno and then i've got the pippins golden shishito criolla de cochina which is starting to flower and you can see this shishito the shishito is the furthest wrong one along. It might be hard to see like that. But look at this. All these roots. That's why I need to go and up pot them. <laughs> and then, so over closer to here, I have flowers um, and some medicinals that are kind of hard to get to. Like, all of these are zinnias. I'm going to go and prune these probably to here. Just, like, prune them half back, I think. I've got a tobacco plant that I bought. I didn't start from seed. Most of these I started from seed. Some of them I didn't. Like, these four packs over here, I did a workshop with my boyfriend's mom and sister. And we got some free plants like this, um, what is this? Uh, oh, I forget what it's called. Solosia. It's called Solosia, and it's like turning to its n normal colors, and it looks really pretty. And this is straw flower, I believe. Yeah, <laughs> straw flower. Um, we've got status, and then some other one that needs to be watered. I need to go and <laughs> agaratum. I need to go and water today. Um, and then the sunflowers, they didn't really have a good germination. Um, I think it was just my watering. I didn't keep up on watering on them. But um, I am going to take them out of these plug trays and probably put them in pots. Who else do I have? I have some yarrow back here and lemongrass and then a blue wild indigo which is super pretty and then two passion flowers that I started from seed which I'm super excited about look at that and then there's some anise hyssop hiding back there it's hard to see but it's all the way back there who else is hiding oh nasturtium that I started from seed I have three of those, and it's the trailing variety. I've got some oregano that was a little bit too wet, so I'm just, I haven't watered them. And then all my basils that you can see here. Oh, and my solar fan. <laughs> I got it off of Amazon. It does an okay job. It's not the best, but it's really cute, so I was like, I'll just use it. <laughs> But yes, we've got we've got basil, two varieties, the Genovese and blue opal, and then two huckleberries back here. Oh, this watermelon's getting in the way. Huckleberries, and then some peppers that I started to pot up. See, these are the containers I'm gonna have to go to. These ones already look like they're adjusting to these pretty well. And then some watermelon and a cucumber. I repotted this watermelon. I'm also going to have to go and repot this watermelon. But I might also start new watermelon seeds. I'll keep these, but I want to start some new seeds just so that um, I don't have... I know I won't have any crucial problems like if those die then I can just put my new seeds in the ground the fun stuff my medicinal plants that I am starting from seed 
Um, so I've got Feverfew, Lemon Balm, Roman Chamomile, and Arnica. The things that's come up is the Roman Chamomile. That was the first to come up. Um, very easy to germinate, in my opinion. Some Lemon Balm has come up. There's some others that are slowly waking. And then a little bit of Feverfew there. And then this is Soledago or Goldenrod. And these are from cuttings. I was experimenting. I just took like really small, like inch pieces, inch to inch and a half pieces of the Goldenrod plant that I currently have, which is in a huge barrel container. And I put them in these plug trays. I watered them diligently. And they are coming up. Look at this. It's amazing. If it up. And then the anise hyssop that I need to go ahead and split up here. Two rows of that. One heliotrope that <laughs> sprouted, germinated. And then there was yarrow in here, which I already took out and put in pots. And that's part of what is shown here. Some more goldenrod, some yarrow. These are the yarrows that I split out. And then I also had a pot of elecampane that I split out and put into pots. And my idea is that I will um, put these for sale or give away. And then I've got some clary sage, some more yarrow. I've got some anise hyssop that I just did today that needs to be watered. And then I bought burdock, which these will go into containers outside, like big barrel containers that it's easy to harvest. I saw it on a YouTube video like years ago and I'm copying it because I think it is just the best idea for burdock. Burdock is so intense to, um, it's so intense to, um, harvest that I want, I want it to be as smooth as possible. So putting it in a barrel is my idea, is an idea that I'd like to steal and make it easy for myself. So some other things that I've got down here <laughs> are my tomatoes, which I started a bit early. All of these things that I started a bit early, if I had like a in-ground in hoop house or here, let me turn you around. If I had an in-ground hoop house or um, just, you know something uh, that was that was covered that was in ground I think it would have been an okay time to start all of these plants so then I could just put them in the hoop house and they're growing and I have I have easy plant um, I have a harvest really um, early but I don't have that so I definitely started it way too early so yeah Okay, back to it. Um, so all of my tomatoes there, there's some that are starting to flower and fruit. I'm debating whether if I will pick those or just keep them. And they're in these relatively big pots, so I might just keep them and then just harvest it. It may or may not hurt. A banana melon that I started. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but um, we will see. And then I've got um, one more tomato that I bought. It's called the 4th of July tomato. Then I've got a heliotrope. These are things that I bought minus the sad looking um, cilantro over here. I think it was just a little bit too hot for them where I had them. So I put them down here because it's a little bit cooler down here in the greenhouse. Um, and yeah, so there's heliotrope that I bought, two of them, and then some meadow sweet that I bought. 
I tried starting seeds from it for it, but I decided I might just buy it and try and start seeds another year. Or be able to transplant plants from what's out in the garden and to give away or sell. And then I've got my ground cherries, three of them. And then some dahlias, which are from that workshop that I did with family. And I don't remember the var varieties of them, but they're starting to sprout. And it may be almost time to plant them somewhere. <laughs> oh, I'm getting stuck. Oh, something I didn't show you is the arnica that I started from seed a while ago. There's two in here. And yeah. Also is the storage part of my greenhouse. Um, I got these pots, these biodegradable pots um, for selling out of. And I think that'll be okay. I'm using these plastic pots for now because this is what I first bought. So I'm using those for now. I also have these plug trays that I've been cutting. You see, I, I cut this one because I cut it to the size that I want and then I can save space that way. Um, and then I also bought these smaller plug, like more sturdy plug trays that next year I might use for most of my vegetables or flowers or something or medicinals. I really like the quality of these like I can I like stuff that I can just hold with one hand you know like that makes it so much better and then these are bootstrap mesh um, trays I figured I'd get those just for like they're more sturdy and then I also have a deeper one um, and then from Haas I believe Sorry if I'm yelling, but from Haas, I believe, there were these huge trays, which you, I can actually show you up here. They're huge. They barely fit on my benches, but they are so sturdy and just really good for bottom watering. And then I also got a plug tray from them, which I might start for like cucumbers or like something like bigger seeds, you know. And then all my soil. Oh. Okay. I don't know if this is... It, it might be. But I had to put a shade up and turn, take off my jacket because it is really hot. Okay, so... What I'm going to do... I just took you off the stanchion because... It'd just be easier if I do that. I'm going to take this, bring it down here. Oh, I might actually be able to put you up here. Okay, so welcome to the bottom of the greenhouse where it's just easier for me to do stuff because uh, I am short and these benches are short but not short enough for me for me to do stuff um but um, let's see. so I just find a stick <laughs> to get these plugs out it works usually most of the time if I find the proper stick and just take this out and then we have this that I can divide further so I just go ahead and loosen it up a little bit take the those bulk pieces of soil off and I should probably count how many I have in here. So I have one, two, three, I have three, I think. 
So I'll just gently massage them out. Hopefully none of them get mad at me. It's one. It's two and three. And then these are mostly for giving away. So I am going to use these plastic pots because I got these first, so I need to get rid of them first. Two, three. And then I have my soil over there. I might push you down. I have my soil in this tub. I have a little, another container that I fill up so it's easier to dump soil in there, pat it down, more, and then what I normally do is fill all of these up first, so then it's kind of more streamlined. And I try and do that over that just so then I catch the loose soil so then I'm not completely wasting a bunch of soil. Okay, so that's that part. So you can see all that and then I'll just take them make a little divot make sure all the roots are in there and then push the soil close to the base that was a little bit off center but it's okay that, no, that's only it just has a lot of leaves on it, which is nice. Do the same here. And the same for this one. And voila, that's it. So of course there's more that I have to do, but that is all that I will spare, spare you and show you so I'm not wasting your time. So, and I'm gonna water these. And also I have some peppers to do and cucumbers. And then there's also weed eating to do. What else? Oh, pruning my zinnias. So there's a whole host of things that I have to get done within the week because next week um, I have limited time. Me and Kate are going on a, probably going to a, um, what is it called? Oh, a cabin with friends. And then also I have for my job, my day job, I have a site visit that I need to do. So. I will have a limited time next week, so there's a lot of things that I get it, get done before next week. And yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, once again, this is Little Earth Studying, um, and I hope you could subscribe and follow me on Instagram. And I am glad that you watched this video if you did. So thanks. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.